Hello. This is a an Orion Starblast 6i. Okay. Um, it's a mini Dob. Dobsonian means a uh, base like this. Rotates. Okay. Very common. Very portable. Very robust. Okay. Um, it's not a heavy scope, but it is kind of awkward. So, how do you hold it? Well, there's a number of different ways to do it. Important thing is just find something that's stable. Okay, like so just I like to hold the base and the uh, and the platform together so it doesn't spin. So there are handles. See the handles here. You hold it like that. It's not that heavy. It's just awkward. Um, this is something you may need to tighten or loosen. It is the uh, tensioner. So if your uh, if this flips around, slides around too much, you'll just tighten this knob right here. You don't want it too tight. You want it just tight enough where it won't move on its own. All right. Assuming you get it out of the bag, um, where do you want to set it up? You want to set it up. It's a tabletop knob. Okay. So you can put this on the ground, but you're going to be kneeling. Um, if you have a steady table, it's a good place to put it. You don't want it rocking. You don't want it to be something loose that will uh, fall over. Okay. But you want to set it up. It's good to practice in the daylight. Do all the stuff first in the daylight, in, indoors maybe. Uh, but when you set up, set up someplace safe at night. But the uh, darker your place uh, where you set this up, the better your viewing is going to be. Okay. The other thing is the mirror, this end of it here, um, it takes a while to cool down, and while it's while it's uh, hotter than the ambient air, the images aren't going to be quite as uh, clear. They'll be a little blurrier. So once it's out and it uh, cools down, if you give it a little cool down period, you'll get better better views. Okay. Not that big a deal. Okay. So there's a couple things you have to install. At this point, we're installing ourselves. Okay. In the back. There is a pocket on the bag. Okay. We have some accessories in there. We also have another bag with uh, maps and whatnot. But a couple of the accessories that we'll have to install are the eyepiece, it comes in this case. One of the finders, we'll have one finder. There's two different types of finders. This is nice, but it runs on batteries. This is called a red dot finder. It runs on batteries. The problem with it is the batteries are always left on. I always, leave, I always forget to turn it off, so rather than uh, uh, use this with a dead battery. This is a uh, an actual little telescope. Okay, this is called a, a telescopic finder. This is called a red dot finder. Okay, uh, they both mount the same way. Bottom of the stock there is uh, that slides into. I'll show you in a minute. But it's the same base. They go in the same way. Okay, I'll zoom in here. Hopefully, it'll zoom in. Okay, so there's the finder. This is the focuser. This is the finder base. Point the finder in the same direction as the scope. It slides in. Screw it down. If we're using this finder, take the caps off it. Assuming we haven't lost the caps yet, take the caps off it. Best place to put it is where you got the uh, finder to begin with. Right there in the bag, we'll put it there. Put this one back. Okay, installing the eyepiece. There is a cap on this. Okay, so pull the cap off. Pull the cap off. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it back in the, the bag. This way, if you forget to put the caps back, at least they're in the bag and they're not lost. We have a zoom eyepiece. Again, it has it has caps on it. I'm going to take the cap off this, put it in there. Okay, I'm going to screw that back on. I'm going to leave the other I'm going to leave the other cap on until we we're ready to, to view. Okay, so make sure that uh, the screws are not all the way in. You want to make sure that they're not going to interfere with the um, the barrel. Put the, uh, the eyepiece in. There are two screws. Screw it down. 
and you can um, probably want the numbers up top. I don't know if you can see it. There is a scale. This is a zoom lens that goes from 24 millimeters, which is a wide view, to 8 millimeters, which is relatively narrow. Uh, to adjust, you do have to put these down fairly finger tight. Um, the zoom, you twist to zoom in and zoom out. And if those aren't tight enough, use two hands. Use one, one hand to hold the lens, the other one to twist. Okay, okay at this point, we're ready to we take our cap off. This is the dust cap. Where do we put this? Back in the bag. Back in the bag. Since we're ready to, to, to observe, I'm going to take the lens cap off the zoom. I can put that back. Put it back in the case for the zoom. And I'll put that in the bag. Because when you're breaking down and it's dark, um, you tend to forget things. All right, so how do we aim the scope? Assuming everything's lined up properly on the scope. Uh, this is typical with Dobbs. Uh, any scope that's not driven by, by gears, you got to line up yourself. Uh, this scope, it's got a little handle up front. You don't have to use a handle, but this allows you to point it where you want to point it. Okay? If the up and down is too tight, you can loosen it. Okay? should be fairly smooth. Okay? So how do you line it up at a star? First of all, or a, a target. First of all, you have to know what your targets are ahead of time, or you can just go for the moon or something. But one way to do it is just line up the scope, kind of get behind it, and just line it up by eye. Okay? So if you're looking for something particular, kind of line it up, and hopefully that will get it in the field of view of the finder scope. The finder scope has a very wide, wide angle. You get quite a bit of sky there. Um, the zoom lens, even at its widest setting, instead of having a, a big area this big of the sky, you're probably going to see something that small, a lot harder to find it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look through the eyepiece, okay, and there's crosshairs in this style, the other one's a red dot. Okay? But you want to get your target right in the center of the crosshairs. At that point, you either want to go to the widest setting on your zoom lens or your widest eyepiece, if you have different eyepieces. So you want to, you want to make sure you can get it in so you want as wide a view as possible. Okay? And hopefully, you can find it. Okay. It's not, it's not going to be right on center, so use, use your knob here, your hands, to center it. And then you can zoom in. Okay. High power. Right now this runs from about, nine, this zoom lens on this piece, this, uh, this telescope runs from about 30 power to 90 power. Okay. Different eyepieces you can go to higher power or lower power. Lower power is nice, wide field of view. All right, that's good. I think we'll do uh, additional videos as um, as topic comes up. But that's that's the essence of how how you use it. Um, there is a computer on this. We don't have it installed yet. Uh, if we get that, we will uh, we'll have videos on that. All right, that's good. Good luck. Make sure when you put things together, when you're done at the end of the evening, take everything apart, put it back together the way you got it. It's really important to take the flashlight and look around. Okay? I always forget things all the time. In fact, I once forgot this scope. I had three scopes and I actually forgot this entire scope. So before you're done, do one pass with a, a flashlight. Make sure you haven't forgotten something. Children, make sure you haven't forgotten children. Um, all right, we're good. Clear skies.